Hi Leo, and I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Leo sign. We're going to take a look at the cards. Oops, I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to take a look at the cards for awareness, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose some oracle cards for additional information. Okay, so this card came out. I'm going to choose another card for the awareness for the week. So we're starting with the, the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles, uh, we see this king holding on to his pentacles. He's dressed in a very fancy robe and he's surrounded by grapes and lots of abundance. And so this is a king who is successful, who has been able to build uh, a financial and stable foundation. He enjoys the comforts of his home and the beauty within the home. But this king is gentle and kind and fair and uh, is very capable when it comes to business, is very capable when it comes to multitasking tasking and handling, uh, you know, uh, several things going on at the same time. So, you know, for you, this is a card of, of uh, really being in control and being very mindful of the tasks that you need to accomplish. And you're going to use your practical sense this week to help you get them done. So this king is, uh, you know, he is, he knows how to be successful. Why? Because he employs this very grounded energy. And so for you, that may be making a list, making a plan for the week, having a goal list, things that you want to accomplish. Earth energy, Taurus, Libra, Capricorn. So with the King of Pentacles, we have strength which is your card actually. And, you know, with strength, we see the woman here. She is gently handling the lion. And the lion looks up at her rather adoringly. So with this card, there's a sense here of using gentleness and kindness to be able to influence situations or it's how you react versus using force or being impulsive, or being rough. You know, there's a uh, sweetness to this card, but don't be fooled because real strength comes from being vulnerable. Strength and courage comes from having a big heart. And so that's what this card is about. It's about tapping into your own heart and your courage and knowing that this inner strength of yours is going to give you what you need to handle obstacles, adversities, uh, things that you may feel are working against you. But if you can always remember to rely on your strength, to rely on the qualities of being courageous, uh, but most importantly, to, to show some self-control as well in terms of your reactions when things don't go your way. Gentleness and, con and compassion uh, for the win. And now let's choose two cards for guidance. Okay, so in terms of guidance, we have the Seven of Wands. We see the man here, he's on this little elevated piece of land, and he looks pretty focused. He's down to business here. He's wielding his wand, and he's protecting himself. Or, you know, he may be, um, he may be on the aggress aggressive front as well. I often get a perspective that this is defending your beliefs and defending yourself and protecting yourself. That, you know, sometimes people 
disagree. They may try to thwart you. They may try to um, uh, dissuade you from doing things and you have to stand up for yourself. You have to stand up for yourself. And, uh, you know, it's, he, he's doing whatever it takes to do that, to defend his beliefs. He's got the two mismatched boots on. You know, this could also be a suggestion to, in your interactions with people, is to take the high ground. He's on the high ground. And so when you're defending yourself, keep it, um, you know, keep it at the high ground, if you will. So then we have the Page of Wands. And pages are these youthful energies, this either people within your life, youthful people in your, in your life looking for more experience or, you know, it represents qualities that you would benefit from. And, and pages are often messengers or, you know, the, a sense of one, bringing in a sense of wonder or newness. And so with wands, you know, wands go toward our passions and our enthusiasms and the things that really make us excited about living. So the page is looking for adventure looking to do things, looking to join in, to become a part of, to gain more worldly experience. So your charge for the week is to get involved, make a phone call, do something, uh, you know, look online for local clubs. If you're, uh, you know, into uh, go-kart racing or something like that. And, and, you know, the page of wands is, is get out there and do the things that are fun for you have some fun, enjoy life. And so, you know, that's what wands brings us, this dynamic energy to make things happen, you know. Get out there, do it. So now I'm going to choose two cards for possible outcomes for the week. Okay, so we have, again, similar to the Seven of Wands, we have the Five of Wands and the Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries. We see the boys here with their sticks and looks like they're in complete disarray. So this can go either towards the help, healthy competition that we have or can go toward people not working together of disharmony, of, um, you know, the lack of un lack of unity as we're as we're trying to reach a goal, people with ego involved, people battling for superior superiority. So these are the petty annoyances that we face. It's a minor arcana card. So find a way to deal with conflict, with the arguments, with the egos, and. You know, maybe everybody's trying to be the leader within this group. We, we don't really know other than it doesn't seem to be working. So the, the um, impetus is on you to go out there and to find a way to get everybody working together. So then we have another major arcana card. We have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a card that really shows the movement of life and how the wheel of life is always spinning. So this could signal that maybe things are getting more busy for you. There are some things that are going to be changing perhaps in the near week. Events that are going to be unfolding. Maybe you're aware of them and maybe not. You know, wheel of fortune can be random things that happen and kind of change our direction or change our focus or disrupt our routines. And sometimes they're for the better and sometimes they're, they're not. It's a matter of how we respond to them. But this is about movement and about uh, maybe things speeding up and becoming more active within your life and uh, could go towards events that may require, may require decisions. So you may have to get more information before you're able to make an informed decision. So interesting with the strength card, 
and uh, this pentacle energy and it's really the sense of defending yourself and having to deal with some conflict. So now let's choose an oracle card to get a little more information on a practice area or meditation point for the week. And this says, ask. Ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. So that's very interesting, the idea of ask. And, you know, as the wheel of fortune, yes, it has to do with fate perhaps and you know, karma and events unfolding, destiny, but it also has to do with free will, is ultimately your free will is very important in how you respond to all the different um, events and happenings that occur. So now I'm going to choose an oracle card for uh, spirit or emotional self. This is vulnerability. This is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. And it goes to what I was saying earlier that, you know, being vulnerable is really a sign of strength and allowing yourself to feel vulnerable as you start new things within your life, whether you're starting a new relationship or a new job, there's, certain, there's a certain amount of apprehension. But to be vulnerable, to, to acknowledge it, is really a wonderful, um, it's a sense of awareness, of self-awareness, which is really important. Uh, it's not a negative condition. It's, honestly a very powerful powerful position is when you are able to be free and to show vulnerability and finally let's choose an oracle card for love Love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving of all the wonderful things that life has to offer. Self-love. Beautiful illustration. And, you know, there are many times when sometimes we don't feel the love for ourselves. We, we beat ourselves up because maybe we're not uh, fulfilling some expectation or comparing ourselves with others. And that's the first thing is stop comparing yourself to others. You are who you are and uh, you are magnificent and you don't have to worry about what the person next door is doing or the person on the, you know, on the perfect Instagram feed. Be truthful to who you are and accept who you are and let that love, again, show, show it to the world and let it seep out and let people experience that when they're in your presence. So Leo, this is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you have an awesome week. If you found this reading helpful, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, and comment, and check out some of my other readings, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.